Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss K. Today, we are going to read a story of Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons, written by Eric Litwin, art by James Dean. Are you ready to read it? I'm excited, so come on and join Miss K. Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Pete the cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful brown groovy buttons. Do you know where Pete the cat is? This is Pete the cat and he has buttons. Can you help Miss Kate count the number of buttons that Pete the cat has? Let's start. One, two, three, four. How many buttons? Four. Show me number four using your fingers. Four. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Oh, Pit the Cat is singing. Do you see his four groovy buttons? Yes, they're right there. But wait. Um, oh no. One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. Oh, this is a button. A button. So the button popped off. How many buttons are left? Do you have a guess how many buttons are left since one button popped off? Hmm, can you say your answer out loud? Let's see if your answer is right. There are only... What number is this? It is number 3 because 4 minus 1 equals 3. 3. Now, can you help Miss K count the number of buttons that Pete the Cat has? Let's start. One, two, three. Three buttons. Can you show number three using your fingers? Three. See, there are only three buttons left. And Pete thinks, groovy. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and Buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Oh, Pete the cat is still happy. But wait. Oh, oh no. Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Do you have a guess how many buttons are left now? Let's see. There are only... What number is this? This is number 2. 2 because 3 minus 1 equals 2. Show number 2 using your fingers. 2. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Oh, I like the positivity of Pete. Oh, look. Pete is holding a... What do you think is this, kids? This is... An ice cream! Yes, ice cream because this is an ice cream truck. But wait! Oh, oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? What's your answer? Can you say it out loud? Well, let's see if your answer is right. There is... What number is this? Did you say one? One is right. 
because 2 minus 1 equals 1. 1. So there is only one button left. Can you show number 1 using your finger? 1. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Oh, I like your optimism, Pete. Oh, wait. Looks like... Oh, oh no. The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? How many buttons are left, kids? Let's see. What number is this? This is zero. Zero. Because one minus one equals zero. Zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he saw? What do you think, kids? What do you think Pete saw? His belly button! Do you know where the belly button is? This is the belly button. And let's see how a belly button looks like. This is a belly button. Belly button. And he kept on singing his song. He said, it's all good. And so he started singing, my button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. Yes, he still has his belly button right there. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness no! Can you please say goodness no? At the count of three, can you say it again? One, two, three. Goodness no! We keep on singing just like Pete the Cat. Buttons come and buttons go. The end. Oh, before we finish our stories, Miss K will point to a button and tell me the color of the button. What color is this? It's red. Yes, it's red. How about this? It's green. Green. How about this one? It is yellow. Yellow. And this? It's blue. Great job, kids. The end. And that's the story of... Pip the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Hi, kids. It's time to learn with Miss Kay. Today, we are going to read the story of Pip the Cat and his magic sunglasses. Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses Story by Kimberly and James Dean Illustrated by James Dean Pete the Cat did not feel happy. Pete had never, ever, ever, ever been grumpy before. Pete had the blue cat blues. Where is Pete the Cat? Pete the Cat is right there. Pete the Cat is not happy. Hmm, why do you think is he not happy? Then, as if things were not bad enough, along came Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. Where is Grumpy Toad? Grumpy Toad is right there. And it says here that Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. Do you know how a real toad looks like? This is how a toad looks like. This is a toad. Toad. 
But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy today. He said, These cool blue magic sunglasses make the blues go away. They help you see things in a whole new way. What do you call this? These are sunglasses. Sunglasses. Let's see what these magic sunglasses do. Pete put on the cool blue magic sunglasses. He looked all around. Can you please pretend that you are looking all around? Look all around. Right on! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining and I'm feeling alright. Pete thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses. He went on his way and soon he saw Squirrel. Squirrel did not look happy. Pete said, What's wrong, Squirrel? Where is Squirrel? Squirrel is right there. I'm so mad. Nothing is going my way. I only found one acorn today. How many acorns did the squirrel found? Only one. Only one acorn. I think that's why squirrel is mad. Do you know how a squirrel looks like? Squirrel looks like this. This is a squirrel. Squirrel. Pete said, try this cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Let's see if Squirrel will try them. Squirrel put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Can you please look all around? <laughs> That's so funny. Awesome! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Ooh, it looks like Squirrel is starting to feel all right. Pete said goodbye to Squirrel and continued on his way. Soon, he saw his friend, Turtle. Turtle did not look happy. What's wrong, Turtle? Pete asked. I'm so frustrated. Nothing is going my way. I am all upside down today. What is this? This is a turtle. A turtle. And why is the turtle frustrated? Because he's been upside down all day. Do you know how a turtle looks like? This is a turtle. Turtle. Pete said, try this cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Let's see if the turtle will try them on. Turtle put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Far out! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling alright! Oh, looks like the turtle is starting to feel alright! Pete kept rolling along until he saw... What animal is this? Do you know? Alligator! Alligator did not look happy! What's wrong, alligator? Pete asked. I'm so sad. Nothing is going my way. No one wants to play with me today. Oh, why is the alligator sad? Because no one wants to play with the alligator. This is an alligator. Let's see how an alligator looks like in real life. This is an alligator. Alligator. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Let's see if the alligator will try them on. 
alligator put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Can you please look all around you? Awesome! Rocking, the birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling alright! Looks like the alligator is starting to feel alright now. Pete was rolling along and feeling alright when suddenly he fell back. Oh no! Pete fell back. The cold blue magic sunglasses went crack. Can you please say crack? Crack. Crack means they're broken now. So, he cannot use the sunglasses anymore. Uh-oh! Pete didn't know what to do without those sunglasses. Oh, what do you think will happen next? Do you have a guess? Let's see. Oh, wait. What animal is this? This is an owl. It is an owl. An owl is a type of bird. Let's see how a real owl looks like. Owl. This is an owl. Just then, Pete looked up at the tree. Wise old owl said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to see things in a new way. Just remember to look for the good in every day. Pete looked around without his sunglasses. Too cool! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining. We're feeling alright! Oh, they're all feeling alright now, even without those magic blue sunglasses. The end. And that's the story of Pete the Cat and his magic sunglasses. Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss K. Today we are going to learn about sea animals as we read the story of Pete the Cat, Scuba Cat by James Dean. Pete the Cat, Scuba Cat by James Dean. Pete the cat is excited. He is going scuba diving. Where is Pete the cat? Pete the cat is right here. And what is he going to do? He is going scuba diving. Scuba diving. Pete puts on a mask and fins. So this is his mask and these are his fins. He has a tank full of air. He hopes to see lots of fish. Do you think Pete the cat will see lots of fish? Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see. If you are lucky, you might see a seahorse, says Captain Joe. A seahorse, says Pete. I can't wait. I never saw one before. Let's see if Pete will see a seahorse. Their ridges look like a horse's mane, says Captain Joe. Groovy, says Pete. Pete jumps into the water. Splash! Can we please say splash? Okay, let's say it together. Splash! Splashing in the water. Down, down, down he goes. Up, up, up go the bubbles. Pete looks for a seahorse. Can you see a seahorse? <gasps> yes? No? Well, let's see if Pete the cat will see a seahorse. He sees a... Do you know what fish is this? A swordfish. This is a swordfish. Pete swims out of its way. So this is a swordfish. Let's see how a swordfish looks like in real life. This is a swordfish. Swordfish. Pete waves to a... Do you know what animal is this? 
It's a stingray. Stingray. It has a long skinny tail. That's not a seahorse, thinks Pip. Let's see how a stingray looks like in real life. This is a stingray. Stingray. Pip looks high and low for the seahorse. Then he feels a tickle. Pretend that something is tickling you. Oh, tickle, tickle. Can you see a seahorse? Yes? No? Oh, let's see if Pete will see a seahorse. Pete sees a school of fish. They all look alike except for one. So this is a school of fish. School of fish means a group of fish. Let's see a school of fish in real life. This is a school of fish. School of fish. Oh, there's another fish. Do you know what fish is this? It puffs up. It is a blowfish. It is not a seahorse. A blowfish. This is a blowfish. It's also called a puffer fish. Where could one be? Pete looks in the rocks. What is that? It is an... What animal is this? An octopus. It has eight legs. It is not a seahorse. Let's count if the octopus has really eight legs. Are you ready to count? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. How many legs? Eight legs. This is an octopus. Pete feels a tickle. What could it be? Pete turns. He sees a cave. This is a cave. Is there a seahorse inside? Can you see a seahorse? Yes? No? Well, let's see. Pete will see a seahorse. Pete sees a... What animal is this? Crab. This is a crab. Pete sees a crab with claws. A seahorse does not have claws? Pete thinks. Let's see how a crab looks like. This is a crab. Crab. The cave is getting darker. Pete feels a tickle. What could it be? Then he sees an... <gasps> Do you know what sea animal is this? It's an eel. It looks like a snake, but this one is an eel. Let's see how an eel looks like. This is an eel. Can you please say it? Eel. Pete swims past it. It is too long to be a seahorse. Oh no, it is too dark to see. How will Pete get out? Pete sees a... What sea animal is this? It's a jellyfish. Jellyfish. It glows in the dark. This is a jellyfish. A jellyfish. Pete is almost out of the cave. He sees an... Oh, what type of fish is this? It's an angelfish. It is very colorful. This is an angelfish. Angelfish. Pete is out of the cave. So, why is it so dark pit is in a shadow he is in a shadow of a <gasps> what is this it looks like it's a very big animal it's a whale this is a whale yikes let's see how a whale looks like this is a whale 
A whale. Pete wishes he could jump on a seahorse and ride away. Pete hops on a sea turtle instead. What is this? It's a sea turtle. This is a sea turtle. It takes him to the boat. I did not see a seahorse, thinks Pete. He feels a tickle on his tail. What could it be? A... A what? Seahorse, cries Pete. What a surprise. So this is a seahorse. Let's see how a seahorse looks like. You were with me all along, says Pete. What a cool adventure. The end. And that's the story of Pete the Cat, Scuba Cat. Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss Kay. Today, we're going to read Pete the Cat Rocking in My School Shoes. Pete the Cat Rocking in My School Shoes. Story by Eric Litwin, art by James Dean. Here comes Pete strolling down the street, rocking red shoes on his four furry feet. Where is Pete the cat? Pete the cat is right here. And what color are his shoes? Red. He is wearing red shoes. Oh wait, what do you call this? This is a bus, a school bus. What color is the school bus? Yellow. Pete is going to school and he sings this song. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Oh, look, Pete is playing a. What instrument is this? Guitar, yes. He has a guitar. And of course, Pete has a lunchbox. Lunchbox. Pete is sitting at his desk when his teacher says, Come on, Pete. Down that hall to a room with books on every wall. Where is Pete going? Where do you think Pete is going? Remember what the teacher said? It's down the hall with a room with books on every wall. Can you think of a place with a lot of books? <gasps> What's your answer? Can you say it out loud? Let's see if your answer is right. The library. Yes, the library has so many books. Pete has never been to the library before. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He finds his favorite book and he sings his song. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. Oh, look! It looks like Pete is reading about dinosaurs. Do you like going to the library? Well, my daughter Yanyan Yan, and I, we love going to the library. Check out Pete. He's ready to eat in a big noisy room with tables and seats. Where is Pete? Where is Pete? Look, he has his lunchbox. And it's a big noisy room with tables and seats or chairs. Do you know where he is? Pete is in the... Let's see. The lunch room. It can be loud and busy in the lunch room. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. 
He sits down with his friends and sings his song. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. Oh, look! There's an apple and it looks like Pete the cat bit the apple. Can we take a bite? <laughs> That's funny. Pete the cat has milk, fish, and crackers. Mm, that makes me hungry. Pete and his friends are playing outside on a green grassy field with swings and tall slides. Where is the swing? This is a swing. Swing. Yes, it is a swing. It's so much fun to play on a swing. This is a slide. We call this a slide. This is a slide. Where is Pit? Where is Pete? Remember, he is outside on a green grassy field with swings and tall slides. <gasps> what is your answer? Let's see if your answer is right. Pete is in the playground. The playground. Woo! He's enjoying the slide. Kids are running in every direction. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He slides and swings and sings his song. I'm playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. <laughs> Look at Pete, he's enjoying the swing while wearing his school shoes. All day long, Pete sings his song. I'm singing in my school shoes. Oh, what is he doing here? Looks like he is painting. I'm painting in my school shoes. What is he doing here? One plus one equals two. Pete is adding. I'm adding in my school shoes. How about here? What is he doing? He is writing. I'm writing in my school shoes. Oh, look, the school bus is here again. When school is done, Pete rides the bus home. Pete's mom asked him, What did you do at school today? And Pete says, I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. And I will do it again tomorrow. Because it's all good. Oh, look at Pete. He is so adorable. The end. And that's the story of... Pete the Cat Rocking in My School Shoes. Hi kids, are you ready to learn with Miss Kay? Today we are going to read the story of Pete the Cat Plays Hide and Seek Pete the Cat Plays Hide and Seek by Kimberly and James Dean Pete and the gang love to play hide and seek And who's the fastest seeker? Cool cat Pete! Have you played hide and seek before? Well, that's good to hear if you played it. If not, you can try next time. Since Pete is it, he covers both his... Covers both his what? 
his eyes. Then he counts to ten as everyone hides. Pete counts quickly. Do you know how to count one to ten? If you know how to count one to ten, you can count with Miss K. If you don't know how to count yet, you can listen to Miss K. Let's count one to ten. Are you ready? Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then he opens his eyes and looks for his friends. Let's see who he will see first. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, Pete the cat is going to look for his friends who are hiding. Who will he find first? Who do you think? Pete looks everywhere. Pete runs to see. Pete quickly thinks, where, oh where could Gus be? Groovy! He spots Gus hiding behind a... What is this? This is a tree! Tree! Do you think Gus is hiding behind a tree? Let's see! But it is not... Not Gus at all. How can that be? It's just a... What is this? A mailbox. This is a mailbox. It's just a mailbox hiding behind a tree. Oh. Ready or not, Pete is still it. It's all groovy cause Pete never quits. Pete keeps on looking. Pete runs to see. Pete quickly thinks, Where, oh where could alligator be? Out of sight, dynamite. He spots alligator on the... What is this? This is a bus. Bus, yes. He spots alligator on the bus to the right. Do you think alligator is here? Let's see. But that's not alligator. Pete wants to fuss. It's just Bob's surfboard sitting on the bus. What is this? It's a surfboard. It's a surfboard and not an alligator. Oh. Ready or not, Pete is still it. It's all groovy cause Pete never quits. Pete keeps on searching. Pete runs to see. Pete quickly thinks, Where, oh where could turtle and squirrel be? No doubt, far out, there's turtle and squirrel at the... <gasps> what is this, kids? There's a slide and a swing. This is a playground. A playground. Let's read it again. There's turtle and squirrel at the playground, he shouts. But it isn't turtle at all. Pete starts to groan. It turns out to be a polka dot stone. Yes, this is just a polka dot stone and not turtle at all. Oh man, Pete says, this wasn't the plan. That's not squirrel. It's just a watering can. What is this? It's a watering can. This is a watering can. It is used to water flowers, plants, or vegetables. Ready or not, Pete is still it. It's all groovy because Pete never quits. Pete takes one last look. Pete runs to see. Pete thinks quicker. Where, oh where could Grumpy Toad be? Wow, too cool. He spots Grumpy Toad hiding by the... What is this? Pool. Yes, this is a pool. 
Do you think Grumpy Toad is hiding by the pool? Let's see. But that isn't Grumpy Toad. Pete starts to sigh. <sighs> Can you please sigh? <sighs> Why is Granny's armchair sitting poolside? I don't know. Suddenly, Pete stops. Is hide and seek really fun? What if he keeps trying and still can't find anyone? See, he's thinking. This time, Pete doesn't rush. He takes a slow, deep breath in. Can we do a slow and deep breath? Let's do it together. Okay, let's do it again. Close your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath. Then he opens his eyes and looks around again. There's Grumpy! There's Squirrel, there's Turtle, Alligator, and Gus! The whole gang says, Yay, Pete! You found all of us! Oh, Pete found all of his friends! See? Things aren't always as they first appear. If you take a deep breath, things become clear. Pete is a good seeker. He is happy he took his time. Cause Pete's favorite part of hide and seek is when he gets to hide. The end. And that's the story of Pete the Cat Plays Hide and Seek. Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss K. Today we are going to read the story of Pete the Kitty and the Groovy Playdate Pete the Kitty and the Groovy Playdate by Kimberly and James Dean Pete the Kitty jumps out of bed I cannot wait! Grumpy Toad and I have a groovy playdate! Where is Pete the Kitty? Pete the Kitty is here! He jumped out of the... What do you call this? This is a... Bed! Bed! This is a bed! So Pete the Kitty is going to have a playdate with Grumpy Toad! Let's see what will happen! Hey Grumpy Toad! I'm ready to play! It's going to be an awesome day! Can you see where Grumpy Toad is? <gasps> Grumpy Toad is there! Look, he is wearing glasses! Can we say hi to Grumpy Toad? Hi Grumpy Toad! Pete wants to play with Grumpy Toad's cool blue truck! Zoom, zoom, vroom! all around the room what is this it's a truck it's a toy truck and what is the color of the truck it is color blue blue yes this is color blue but grumpy toad starts to whine that truck is mine 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 Pete the kitty says, no worries, that's okay, I'll find something else to play. Oh, Grumpy Toad doesn't want to share his blue truck. Pete finds some blocks. Let's build a city, says Pete the kitty. These are blocks. Pete the kitty is playing with some blocks. But... Grumpy Toad starts to whine. Those blocks are mine, mine, mine. Pete the Kitty says, No worries, that's okay. 
I'll find something else to play. Pete sees a superhero cape. Far out, have no fear, Super Kitty is here. Oh, look at Pete. Pete is wearing a... What do you call this? This is a superhero cape. This is a cape. A cape. But Grumpy Toad starts to whine. That cape is mine, mine, mine. Grumpy Toad has all the toys and Pete has none. This playdate is just not fun. See, Grumpy Toad has all the toys. He has ball, blocks, guitar, airplane truck, and many more. But Pete has none. Pete is sad. Can you please show a sad face? Aww. Pete is blue. He thinks about what to do. Grumpy Toad, wouldn't it be better if we were playing together? Grumpy Toad says, my pile of toys has grown, but it's no fun playing alone. Grumpy Toad thinks of all the fun he and Pete have together. Oh, look at this picture. What are they doing? They are flying a kite. Yes, they are flying a kite. How about here? What are they doing? They climbed a treehouse. This is a treehouse. And here, Grumpy Toad and Pete the Cat are playing a... What is this? Ball! Yes, they are playing a ball. Yes, sharing would make this playdate so much better. Grumpy Toad shares his truck with Pete. You push me and I'll push you. Zoom, zoom, broom all around the room. <laughs> that is so funny. Grumpy Toad decided to share his toys with Pete. Grumpy Toad shares his... What are these? Blocks. Here are the blocks, Pete the Kitty, for you and me to build a city. Oh, now they are playing with blocks. Grumpy Toad shares his cape. Oh, they're playing with a cape while they are riding a skateboard. Okay, time for superheroes to save the day. Have no fear, Wonder Toad and Super Kitty are here. Oh, that is so funny. Grumpy Toad shares all his toys with Pete. Look, they are building a sand castle. They are building a sand castle. They play and play and play. How about here? What are they doing? They are playing a guitar. They are making music with a guitar. And here they are coloring with crayons. What a groovy, awesome day. And here they are playing a baseball. What a groovy, awesome day. Thank you, Grumpy Toad, for sharing your cape, your truck, and your blocks. Wow, sharing rocks. Oh, look at Pete the Kitty and Grumpy Toad. They both fell fast asleep. I think they got tired from playing together. <laughs> Let's say goodnight to both of them. Good night. The end. And that's the story of Pete the Kitty and the Groovy Playdate. I hope that you enjoyed our story time today, kids, because Miss Kay enjoyed learning about sharing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.